Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jasmine Summerford. I do lifestyle, home decor, and beauty related videos. And I do a lot of Disney content, a lot of recipe videos. If any of that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely click the red subscribe button below. I would love to have you. So for today's video, I thought that I would do a Saturday vlog with you guys. I have some organizing I have to do, some cleaning and some setup for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna take you along with me and we're gonna have a good time. Let's jump into it. Hey guys, so I just finished getting ready kind of for the day. Didn't do too much to my hair or makeup. My, I'm going on like three days of curls. So I'll probably wash it tomorrow, but um, didn't do too much for makeup, just a little bit of foundation, a um, little bit of blush, and some mascara. Not going anywhere, staying in the house today, so just wanted to make myself look a little bit more attractive here. But um, we are now in my kitchen, and the goal today is to kind of reorganize my kitchen cabinets. Um, right now, they're just not functioning the way that I think they could function like I have a lot of kitchen cabinets but a lot of the room in one area is basically not being utilized the way I think it could be so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so this is obviously our entertaining kind of and extra tea and stuff like that like this is our like extra tea or entertaining kind of shelf but it, you can see most of the top of the cabinets are completely empty, which is not ideal. So what I'm gonna try and do is clear this cabinet out and replace it with my mug collection. That way I have a place to store my mugs and it's just like like two whole shelves, kind of four sections for mugs, which is good because I have a lot of mugs. I'm sure you guys know that by now. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna clear this out and then over here, I have to reorganize my little spice area um, and also like clear out the mugs. See, I have just mugs piled on mugs here. I feel like if I move that, then I can put some of the like entertaining stuff here. And I already have some entertaining stuff up there like uh, glass champagne, champagne glasses and gravy boats and wine glasses and stuff. So I feel like that will work better but we're just gonna wing it and see so yeah so I'm just gonna try taking everything out cleaning out the cabinets and um, switching everything over and see if that helps out uh, there's just too much empty space and I'm like I can use as much space as I can here so let's start that I'm gonna start by emptying out this shelf wiping them down and then emptying out all my mugs from there. To wipe down the inside of my cabinets, I do like using an all natural cleaner. This is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day in the Scent Honeysuckle. If you guys have not tried the Mrs. Meyer um, cleaning products, they're all natural products and they smell like amazing. Most of them are made with essential oils, so they smell really good. So if you haven't tried them, definitely try them out.
just emptied out this cabinet. There wasn't too much in it and I guess that was the problem for me. I just feel like uh, the space wasn't being util utilized really. So now I'm gonna head over to my other cabinet and grab all my mugs. I will pull all them out and kind of show you guys my collection um, as I add them to the cabinet. just so you guys can see this is kind of what we have so far I have my couple mugs here so these are my couple mugs I have wifey hubby mr. never wrong this is always right blessed mama big daddy and then this is just like a random this is I like do as I'm told in gold and then I have just single ones here my cat mugs um, and this is a mean girls mug a little squirrely mug my Cinderella mug back here and my Disney um, kind of like double. These came in a set. It's Vader and um, a Stormtrooper. So those are together. Then up top, I, tr I realized how many stinking like seasonal mugs I have. I have a lot of seasonal mugs. Like you guys, this is all Christmas mugs. And one obviously, um, like Thanksgiving mug. Up here is a Christmas mug. Those two are matching mugs as well. Um, I love those because they're really big. One says nice, one says naughty. And then these were a special gift from my husband. They actually can hold, they double, so they can hold as a like mug, hot, hot stuff. They are glass, they're from Tiffany. And um, they can also hold the cold stuff. Then I have my little penguin mug, but all that and that is seasonal mugs. And then down here are kind of like my every everyday mugs slash couple mug sets. Um, I don't have a lot of Disney stuff here. I keep that more in my apartment since I guess like I'm doing different um, coffee mugs every day that's Disney themed. So I tend to keep my Disney themed cups in my apartment, but this... It's basically most of my collection here um, at my house, which is actually not that big. People think I have a million cups, but I probably have more cups in my mugs in my apartment than I do in my house, which is kind of crazy. Let's see how many do I have? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 bugs here at my house. So this right now is what it looks like. Let me give you a quick glance of what the other cabinet is looking like now. 
that it's empty. So as you can see, I cleared out this whole section here. And now I'm kind of debating, do I want, since I have some room up there with the mugs, do I want to add like these cups up there as well or anything else I want to add up there just to utilize, utilize the space a little bit more. Okay, quick update. I just decided to move all the mugs down here and I will show you guys like a zoomed in shot obviously and then make the top part of this cabinet um, kind of like the entertaining section since I had so much dead free space up there since I actually don't have as many mugs as I thought I did here um, I just decided to split that in half and then clear up some space in the other cabinet but I did put all the glassware in the other cabinet so like the glass um, entertaining stuff like the whiskey glasses and things like that I did put into the other cabinet because I just feel like all the glassware should be there um, but in this one let me show you so in this one I have the bottom shelf as all my mugs and then up top I have my shaker um, all my simple syrups my grenadines all that stuff bitters um, I have a couple of bottles not all my tall bottles of alcohol fit up there but these shorter bottles fit, so I have them in there. And then the party cups that we would kind of use if we were like on theme. So like I have these little goblets that we used for a Game of Thrones birthday party. And <laughs> those I have there. I also have some Hawaiian um, uh, glasses, kind of like luau themed. And I also have back there some plastic, um, let me see if I can show you. Some plastic like pineapples that's usually we use those to make like summer drinks in the summer but all my entertaining like plastic stuff all this stuff to like you know make drinks the mixing stuff all here um, then down here is all the mugs so now I have I actually still have some free space as you can see in the back maybe to add a few more but this is the mug shelf and then I'm, now I'm gonna show you the other shelf that I cleared up. So as you can see, I rearranged the spice area. Um, this is just uh, s like cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, pumpkin pie spice. I like to keep this as like the coffee stuff if we wanna add anything to our coffee because my coffee station is like right below it. But yeah, so I cleared out this shelf up here and this is like our entertaining glassware. So we have all our kind of like cocktail glasses here. I also have like a couple champagne flutes in the back in case me and my hubby want to just have champagne one night. I wanted them to be kind of uh, accessible. So I have a couple of champagne glasses down here and two wine glasses as well in case my hubby wants to drink wine or whatever. I do have them here but I also brought down the stuff that was really Wow, it's getting dark. One second, let me turn on the light. Uh, a little bit of light. All right, so I also brought down the stuff that was hard to reach. So like the bowls I brought down to this level, the cups that we would use every day with like juice or water, um, the plastic cups. It, I actually like drinking out of these pink plastic cups. Don't know why, but um, I brought that all down so that it's easier for us to reach. And now we have all this free space up here. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished like shelf entertainment slash coffee mug addiction <laughs> cabinet. And then this is my glassware, entertaining glassware station slash coffee station. So much better, you guys. Feel a lot better about this. Um, and as you can see, I got some empty space. Can't go wrong with some empty space. Face. Yes, so happy. Okay, so now that my cabinets are all organized, what I'm gonna do next is clean up this kitchen. There is a whole mess here that you guys can't see. So, um, quick little clean with me in this video too. What do you say about that? We got a little bit of organizing, a little bit of clean with me. Can't go wrong, people. Now let's get to work.
So after all that work, I definitely needed a drink of water. I was kind of tired by this point, but I was also excited because I knew the next thing I was going to be doing was decorating for Valentine's Day. So here we are at my dining room table. I already wiped down the table and everything. I got this placemat from Walmart and it's just red with white hearts on it. I really thought it would be really cute for the dining room table. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with everything next, but I'm definitely going to kind of wing it and play around with the table cent centerpiece and things like that until I'm comfortable with it. Then I also thought it would be a good idea to add some of my serving trays because I know I'm going to be doing a cheese platter as well as some appetizers. So I wanted to make sure everything was out on the table. I went with the white, um, classic white trays and platters only because I thought they would look the best and match the table the best. Then I decided to add these faux rose petals that I got. Honestly, I got these a few Valentines ago, maybe like two or three Valentines ago. And um, I've been using them ever since. They're really cool because they're silk. They're basically silk petals and they're completely reusable. So I am kind of like dressing up my cheese platter by adding a few rose petals around it. that I'm going to be using that night and placing a little heart napkin as well as a little chocolate on each plate. I think it will add a cute and special touch. And this, my friend, is the finished look. I didn't want to go too overboard because the tablecloth is so busy, but this is the up close um, kind of shot of the plate with the plate setting I kind of got. I thought it looked really nice. I like the pink napkin and the pink chocolate. Also, this is how the silk faux uh, rose petals look up close, just so you guys know what they look like. I did get them on Amazon, and I just think these are the perfect touch. And again, they're reusable, so that makes them super, super convenient. Then moving over a little bit, I did shop my home. I used the cake stand that I had in the kitchen and a few dish towels that were Valentine themed that I just bought. And I placed that in the middle with some chocolate as well as some white roses and some stick picks, heart stick picks. And this is the tray I'll be using for my appetizers. Um, this tray I got from Home Goods, and it came out really really nice. I like the way it looks. I don't think it looks too bu too busy and I do love all the pops of red, white, and pink. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Definitely click the red subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time there are brand new videos here on my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!